Hey there, I'm Robert from MasterGuitarAcademy.com. Today we're going to look at a Steve Vai inspired tapping lick. And uh, this is something I used to play a lot when I was a teenager. And I thought it would be cool to revisit this stuff again. So this riff is played in the key of C sharp or D flat. And I'm using this really sweet sounding instrument from TuneTrack. Easy mix, easy drummer and uh, metal amps and metal guitar gods. Sounds really sweet. So the lick sounds like this, slowly. And then we just switch strings to repeat it like that. So it's a really simple idea, but it's it's kind of fun to play this stuff, and it's also actually a good finger strengthening exercise. And you have to work on your timing and your, your fluidness, if that's a word, in executing a lick like this. So it consists of four notes. And the first one we tap, I use my middle finger, I like to use that one. Some people prefer the index finger. Use whichever one you think is, uh, is easiest for you. But you have to kind of uh, be accurate in how you hit the string. So you hit it pretty hard. And then, now uh, this is on the 16th fret on the E string. And next, I have my, my left hand fingers are ready for what's coming next. So they are placed with a pinky on the 13th fret, a middle finger on the 11th fret and index finger on the 9th fret. So they, they are just going to go. But after you tap that first note, you sort of almost use it as a pick you, or a pull off. You do sort of, sort of like a pull off with it. So you use it like this, exaggerating and I'm, pu I'm pushing down. So you get that strong uh, note ringing after it. And then I just do pull-offs with the left hand. You can tap different notes just for fun. Uh, Steve, I often played things similar like this, at least when, when I was younger. You can, of you can do this uh, type of runs in different ways. You can go... You know, up and down like that. But the lick that I'm showing you today is just, it's just a tapping and, and pull off. And then we switch strings, now using the same frets, now on the B string. And then to the G string, we'd go one fret that direction. So now you tap on the 15th fret and then down to the 12th, 10th and 8th on, uh, on the G string. And then up again to the previous one. Then just work on playing as clean as possible and and steady, uh, excellent timing you want to have. Pretty cool. 